Guys, I'm sorry about that. The video cut off. Okay, I'm just trying to show you. Can you see that, what I did? Okay, so it's just, I'm gonna pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, and it's gonna be tight. See this over here? Okay, now I gotta get two hands on it. Okay, notice the knot, all right? I'm gonna flick all the camera and I'm gonna tighten it up, all right, guys? Uh, I'm going to do it again, just so everything is secured. Okay. There we go. Don't be afraid of any doing any of this, okay? It's, it's fairly simple. Don't think it's that complicated. It's not that complicated, okay? I'm going to release the tension, okay? So I'm finished with the bottom part of this racket. And all I have to do is the top part of the racket now, which I'm going to do right now, okay? So, I would not cut the string until I am totally finished with the racket, just in case you made a mistake, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put tension back onto this thing over here. Okay, good. Release this clamp, good. I'm gonna release this clamp just to make sure tensions are good. Okay, and we tighten it, making sure everything is tight. Boy, that is tight string pattern, boy. All right, let me let me do a quick weave in and out. Should take me a few minutes. All right, and then when we're almost done on the top, we're gonna return back to this thing here. One, two, three. In and out, in and out, up and down, up and down. Okay, guys. Boy, I sure hope this video went through, okay? Because uh, doing the video again, oh my God. Okay, when you weave in it, pull it up and down, up and down, okay? The reason why, you just don't want to pull it straight across. Because if you do that, you might burn a hole on the string over here and cause your strings to break faster. So weave it in and out, in and out, up and down, up and down, okay? It's a little odd for me doing it from this side because the camera is in the way of what I'm doing. Okay, so I gotta have to position it a little bit left and right. I'm not used to doing a film while I'm stringing my tennis racket. Okay. Guys, we're almost done with this tennis stringing thing. So here I'm pulling tension, releasing the clamp. Okay, and down here, good. If you guys are not too confident, make sure you have two clamps on the thing, just in case you make a mistake, all right? I'm doing it with one because I'm fairly confident of what I'm doing. And I will have to say, Okay, before I go further, let me just double check something here. Okay, I noticed, I noticed that I did make a mistake. So what I'm gonna do is, while I'm filming this thing, I make I made a mistake. So I'm not perfect. Okay, guys. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tension it. I noticed that I made a mistake. So what I'm gonna do is just as a security factor, put another clamp down over here. So I don't lose everything that I just did. Okay, I'm gonna release this tension. All right, let me just make sure that I did do it correctly. Okay, now I'm gonna release this. I'm gonna release this. Okay, and I noticed that I weaved it improperly. So, Yeah. All righty, let me pull it back. Okay. Again, guys, you see, if you made a mistake, it's not a problem. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? We're only human, okay? So let's just grab it here, okay? Okay. 
Okay, and let us do this again. One, in and out, in and out. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to backtrack a little bit with this thing. I'm gonna have to put this plate down over here. Okay. Again, guys, you know. Making a mistake is okay, all right? It's not a problem. It's not the end of the world. So just everybody relax and take it easy, all right? So notice that I noticed that I did a mistake, which is fine. So what that means is I just have to double back. So what I did was I clamped all my strings down, made sure everything's okay. I'm just gonna weave it again, all right? Go here, go up and down. Down. There we go. There we go. Right? Simple. Easy peasy. Not a problem whatsoever. All right? Just go like this. Then you catch it, right? All right. Now, what, what did I make a mistake in? Well, it was going in the up and down, up and down, up and down pattern of the stringing racket for the crosses. And I noticed it when, I, when I'm doing the, the things. So everything's good. Let me just take a little zip of my smoothie in the morning. Okay. Let me take a zip of my coffee at the same time. Ah, what's life like without coffee, right? Okay. So we're back to our pattern of weaving again. Let's pull this thing around. Okay. Pull this around. There we go. And there we go. Tension. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got the tension. All right. Let's get the clamp. I'm going to do it a little differently. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah, okay. Released. And I'm going to clamp. Okay. Clamp it in. There you go. All right. Let's get this thing done. Okay. Here we go. And. Leave it here. Now, guys, notice, you know, like, look, nobody's perfect. You made a mistake. No problem. Just go back and do the weave again. It's super simple, super easy. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so don't just don't get upset. Just relax. Take it easy. Okay, here we go. And we're just gonna do the string. All right. Now, notice. Pulling it up, down, pulling up, down, up, down, up, down. The reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to create a, a notch in your strings, okay? Or else they're not going to last, all right? So here we go, okay? Guys, this is absolutely a little different for me due to the fact of I'm doing a left and right instead of a right and left, so... You know, for me, doing the, the stringing is a little odd in placement, but it's okay, no problem, you got it. Okay, notice the balance, okay? Notice I'm balancing it. I feel comfortable, I feel okay. Okay, let's release the tension. Everything is copacetic. All right, let's tighten it up. Bingo, okay, this is the pattern. Again, it should normally take me about 40 minutes to do this thing. I'm trying to explain everything to everybody, not go too fast, so that you have an understanding of, you know, like what exactly is being done to this racket. So here we go, here we go, here we go. 
pull that through. Making sure your weave is in and out, in and out, in and out. You do this a couple of thousand times and it will come natural to you, you know what I mean? So again, you know, look, I've been doing this for many, many, many years of my life. So I know the ins and outs, mistakes, whatever. Am I perfect? No, we all make mistakes. So we just want to try to limit everything, get everything even tension, pull it, okay, crank. Ah, that feels great, doesn't it? Yeah, oh my God, you can feel my tensions. They don't even feel like 46 pounds. But I know, I know exactly how it comes out. So the reason why I'm doing it with one clamp as opposed to two is because I know my string pattern can be very easy. If you're gonna do it in the very beginning, just try to be consistent. You know, don't, um, don't lose too much of the tension that you're putting into this racket here, okay? Okay, just be cognizant of the tension on the thing, all right? Notice that as we're going in and out on the weave itself, it actually causes pressure upon the, um, upon the string bed. It's like my uh, friend Debbie should probably be explaining everything to me. <laughs> so, you know, uh, there we go. Pull that string through. All righty, looks good to me, all right? Let me pull the string here. Okay, I'm moving the kind of stringing machine only because my camera is in the way. All right. All right to the bottom. I hope you guys are getting the video of this thing. Let me just see the video thing. Okay, there you go. Guys, all right, that's, that's cool. All right, got that. All right, let me unstring this tension here with this thing here. So let's get ourselves into gear. Start really stringing this racket up. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay, remember, opposite the other string pattern, okay? If you're gonna go down, go up, go down, go up. Please make sure you're doing it correctly. If not, you make a mistake, okay? You have to start from the beginning on the thing again, or just clamp it down, take out the string, do it over again, all right? Just a few more pattern strings, a few more pattern strings, a few more pattern strings, here we go. Here we go, guys, all right? I know the video is probably a little longer than normal, but I wanted to make a mistake to show you guys it's not the end of the world, all right? So everybody relax, chill out, okay? Life is good, okay? especially here in Southern California. Alrighty, here we go. Tighten it up, put it here, clamp it down, bring it up, put it down, All right? Reminds you of that song, right? Alrighty, here we go. In and out, put it down. Going good, it's going good guys. Okay, we're almost there, almost there. I know some of these professional stringers, they can probably put the whole racket together in about 20 minutes because they have pre-weaved and everything with their electronic uh, kind of stringing machine. Again, I like the um, Gamma 2 stringing machine because, you know, it's going by gravity and by going by gravity, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be anything severely wrong or anything with this thing, okay? Oh, my mama says that she's just finished, you know, cooking the meals and she's done for the day. Okay. Okay, she's faster than me stringing this tennis racket, right? Yeah, I know that. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I hope you guys are able to see this. You want to fast forward it later on you can okay I'm just gonna try to okay. I can hear my mama saying she's done how about you son <laughs> okay here we go all right I actually find it very relaxing in order to do stringing. 
okay? Uh, because, you know, look, I'm not in a rush or anything. Okay, first couple of times you ever do it, you know, you may say to yourself, oh my God, and this and that, but don't worry about it. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay? After you get the hang of it, just think about the amount of money that you're going to be saving. Okay? There you go. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. That. Put that there, okay? okay? We have a few more left over there. We're almost done, guys. Here. I'm wondering how this video is going to turn out. I hope I didn't press the slow-mo button by accident. All right? It will really kill you watching this video. There we go. Hope you're able to see it. Oh, good. Okay, let me just pull that uh, screen with you here. Okay. I'm sorry I have to move this thing around so much, guys. Because again, you know, with the video machine in the way, it makes it a little difficult. It makes it a little difficult for me to coordinate my my racket head here. Okay. I actually have a very big table. You know what, guys? Let me let me move the, the, the thing down a little bit so it's not in the way. Sorry, I'm going to put it down a little bit. There we go. Whoopsie-daisy. Okay, let me just see if I can get this thing. There we go. I'm going to, I'm trying to give you a good view of the stringing, you know, so it doesn't get in the way. So, I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry about all of this. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to give you a good eye view of what's going on. For now, so I get this thing set up. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm also trying to straighten out the string bed at the same time. Okay, it looks good to me on everything. Try this here. Here we go. Just a few more strings left, guys. So everybody hang in there, okay? I'm gonna cut the video down right now, and uh, I'm gonna get back to you when I'm almost done.